Okay, I'm here with Ricky Brigliadori on the final day of WGC Banana. How's your competition been going, Ricky? Oh, it was going well. Unfortunately, I made a, a big mistake in the middle of the competition. Where, on a day who was working very well because I think I was in the front, but I make it. I made a big mistake. I, I lose the last thermal and got very low, and then I stay. I landed out seven kilometers before finishing. <laughs> That's gliding. <laughs> that is a too bad. And uh, what do you think about today so far? Today's potential. Yeah, we hope uh, it was a little bit better than expected. I mean, we saw 50 meters, they take off, and I think they are very low. Uh, we just received the information that the Stargate uh, will be open, so we hope we can have a, a chance to fly even today. For sure it will be a very hard day, because we have no altitude, I think, 800 meters. Yeah. So, well, we'll see. so, interesting. More than European weather. <laughs> more yeah. than that. <laughs> and it's 30 years uh, ago, almost to the day, since your father would have been under very similar circumstances here, flying on the last day of the, of the competition. So tell me about your, do you have any reminiscences of your father's uh, experience here in Benalla? Oh yes, very, very nice remembers. Uh, unfortunately, I was not here, but uh, I remember all the, all the stories he, he told me here. He had uh, good luck and bad luck also because uh, I remember he won three days here always with blue weather and uh, one day he had a collision and uh, he was forced to land out but uh, anyway it was really a good remembers at that time uh, I was a little bit more than a child I, I just took my license a few months uh, before and I remember I was flying uh, my first 5,000 meters in the time he was here in the competition. <laughs> so we were phoning each other. He was telling me his stories and I was telling him my stories. <laughs> and so you were, you were born in a glider, basically? No, <laughs> not really, but <laughs> in the airfield, yes. <laughs> and uh, tell me a, bit, a little bit about your, 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 uh, your uh, back home, your business and what you're gliding back in Italy. Oh, when I come back, uh, I just changed my life because uh, one year ago I opened a, a school for ultralights and my dream could be to open a gliding school. So that's uh, what I'm, I'm doing right now. Right now. And uh, that's based where? It's based in the north of Italy in a place very close to the Alps. At the beginning of the Alps, in the pre-Alps, we have a lot of lakes, uh, we have uh, rivers, we have mountains, uh, we can do everything. Uh, I'm telling this because in the ultralight school we have also a, a nidro, so we can fly into the lakes. That's really nice, mm -hmm. like in uh, Canada. Yeah. Okay, and this is near Milano? Or? Very close to Milan, yeah. yeah. It's mm -hmm. 40 kilometers north of Milan, and a little bit in the east, very close to Bergamo, which is really a small town, but very nice. And, and the name of your operation? Oh, it, it's Pilota per Sempre which means pilot forever. Okay. Uh, you know Italian. I do. Si. Ah, really? Yeah. Un poquito, <laughs> except I'm speaking Spanish. Ah, yeah. But, pilota por siempre. Perfect. And I'm hoping to visit. So and I encourage everybody to go too. 40 kilometers from Milano. We are waiting for you, everybody, in the hydro. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, thanks, Ricky. Have a good day. I hope you thanks. have a good day. We hope.